Hey everyone, it's Shayna. I'm here with a plan with me. Um, this is going to technically be in my Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner that I've been using for finances, but I'm also going to show you, um, <laughs> I guess I should explain a little bit. I've been using this for my finances for um, quite a few months now, and I really just want to finish this planner out, so I'm still going to be planning in this just to keep everything for this year in one place. Um, however, I actually have been using a different planner to actually keep track of my finances, and I think I'm going to use that moving forward. So I just really wanted to finish this out for the year, so I'm going to continue setting this up, um, knowing that I am not really using it for the same purposes. Like, I'm kind of, I'm filling it in, oops, I'm filling it in, but then I'm actually going to be finishing it after the month instead of using it kind of throughout the month to track stuff so um I do have my pens here and I also have my handy ruler I don't really need this I gotta find a different place to put this because I don't really need it in here anymore um, I do also have a bunch of stickers that I'm going to use that I've kind of been using. So I'm just going to leave those there. This is basically everything that I use in this planner. So, so for this, I'm actually just going to take the same layout. Whoops. I'm just going to take the same layout I've kind of been using. I don't have any stickers or anything, so I'm just going to do this with pen. Um, so... I'm going to do this as my August budget. Um, so I'm going to start out with, uh, I'm actually going to start up here at income and then estimated, actual, and difference. Actually, I put that a little too far over, so I'm already going to have to use my whiteout. <laughs> That's okay. Estimated actual um, for my husband, this doesn't matter as much for me, it does. So, oh my goodness, <laughs> okay, and then total. I think that's it. And then I'm going to go here and do expenses. I suppose I could have used like um, my mild liner or something to add a little color, but I don't really want to waste anything being that I'm not going to be using this planner in the same way that I have been, so I think it's okay. Okay, so for expenses for August, do I want to go? I want to go in alphabetical order, I think. So, I do believe I have the garbage. Um, I have a couple credit cards, so I'm going to put those in here too. Let's see. I have a list on my phone, but it's not in alphabetical order, so it's kind of messing me up a little bit. <laughs> All right. This is really difficult to do when it's not at all in order. Connects Can't even see what I'm doing. Get out of the way. What comes next? D E. Think. Oh, yeah. We're just gonna copy from last month. <laughs> That's probably easier. Hopefully, it's in order.
Nope, I already messed one up. And since I actually noticed while I was writing, I can actually white it out and not have to like just leave it there. husband did a debt settlement so we've got that couple cards our phones our TV and water okay so that's it so I'm gonna do total expenses Oh, no. Yeah, I'm just going to do total because that's going to make it really long. Okay. So I'm just going to draw some lines. special <laughs> there's no color no nothing I'm gonna fill in um, what we are actually budgeting for these things so we've got the garbage which is every other month and then one of the cards uh, I forget which one is gas I think this is gas and then our internet I think this is our electric I was going to not do the dollar signs, oh well. Um, ooh, that one I'm going to have to come back to. I don't know how many Mondays there are. Um, 110 for my loan. Thank goodness my husband has a loan that is way bigger than mine. Like, it is over four times bigger than mine. Um, and... He, he was going to school for longer than I was, obviously, and um, his deferment was supposed to stop, or his forbearance was supposed to stop, and ended up getting deferred longer. Not forbearance, deferment, because you only know, get that six months after you stop going to school. Well, he ended up getting a little bit more, and I'm we don't know why, um, but I'm not complaining, so for now we don't have to worry about it. So I'm really thankful for that, because his is going to be a massive payment. Um, okay, so my instant ink, our insurance went down, no idea why, not complaining. Um, I bought a little bit on a card that I had paid off, which is upsetting, but I did need some shirts, so, um, oh gosh, this is his loan. What did I put? have that in my list. Our mortgage went up a little bit, just like a couple dollars, so it's not a big deal. Uh, my husband's debt settlement, and then some cards. Whoops. Went up a little bit too, which is kind of a bummer. All right, so that is everything. So if I add this all up, okay, everything combined is a crazy amount. Not super crazy, but crazy enough. Um, and then I will, I will, I will fill in the actual totals as the month goes on. So next up is the monthly. 
So I already have my paydays marked. Um, I have a bunch of random stickers that I have kind of been using. All of these, almost all of these, are from a D stash from our Minnesota Planner Group of some kind. So I'm going to use these for a lot of stuff. I'm basically going to do the exact same setup that I have been doing because it works. So I need four. Start up here and skip one each time. Okay. I like to space it out kind of the same. Um, oh shoot, I only need two. Uh, that's right. I only need two. <laughs> so I was doing um, our Disney savings and our emergency fund. We ended up having to use what was in the emergency fund, which was a bummer, um, but I forgot how I wrote this. Um, we decided that since we're so close to going to um, Disney that we're just going to refill that, um, whoops, we're going to refill that when we get back from Disney. So we're going to basically use the Disney money to refill that once, like the money that we've been putting away to Disney, I should say. So we're going to hold off until we go. And I don't remember how much I have to put in there. So I'm just going to do that for now. 30. Okay. So that's basically all I've got for that. Um, and then I'm going to add in boxes. What's I using? I'm using these boxes. Nope, not that one. Wrong page. This one. And then so I think I'm going to use I'm going to use the purple. Alright. I don't need this month here. So this isn't exactly my favorite look ever, but I'm just trying to use these stickers that I got from the D-Stash, so I'm trying to not let it bug me. Okay, so there's that. And this is my Monday through Sunday unbudgeted. So basically, I've got the five weeks... I could have just used this as the total, I suppose. I say, I think I say that every single time, but whatever. Um, and then the total at the bottom will be the full total of the unbudgeted. So that was easy enough. Um, I'm going to set up using these stickers here. I've got a bunch of Shine Sticker Studio, some Haley's Handmade, uh, the Reset Girl. I got these from the B-Stash and some other Haley's Handmade stickers here. These come in the monthly kits for Shine Sticker Studio, so I just have some left over. I'm kind of running out of the ones that I use, though, in these kits since I haven't been buying the monthly kits. Oh, no, I'm not. I have a whole sheet. Derp. Okay. Uh, this is kind of, okay, really just need my phone. So, on the first, do I have a, you know what, I do need this still. Hey, don't know that I have a house sticker left on these sheets. Oh, yes, I do. It's right here. Hey, hey. Um, I'm not even going to worry about putting these in order. I'm just going to write them. Like alphabetical order. I normally try and put them in alphabet <laughs> alphabetical order. Um, and I just don't know that I care. So I'm going to use Haley's Handmade sticker for insurance. 
Those are technically in alphabetical order if you actually know what the names of the companies are. <laughs> so that's fine. Um, on the second, I have, what was I using? For, I don't remember what I've been using for these stickers. Let's see, July. Um, I used just plain, a plain sticker. Okay. I will use my Haley's Handmade sticker for the second, and that is my um, my loan, my school loan. I have these credit card stickers from Haley's Handmade, and I will use that to mark one of the credit payments. one of our settlement payments. Oh, this is, oh, I had the grid on the other side, so that was kind of nice. I don't have or the lines. I don't have the lines on this one. They were kind of ghosting through. That was actually kind of nice, but I guess not. <laughs> um, what did I use for that? A light bulb. Do I have a light bulb? I do have a light bulb last light bulb on the sheet. Come on. Okay. And then, it's so funny because I basically have nothing else until Saturday. The 10th. I have, I don't think, yeah, they're all used on this one. Where's the water? Where's the water? There it is. On the 10th, I, you guys can't see it, but I have the lines from the other page on here, and that's actually making this really nice to line this up. But I don't have those on this side. Okay. Oh, and then actually, I don't have anything else until this day. I'm going to need more of these. Actually, I think I have some other... Um, I might have some style planner credit card sheets, mini credit cards, so maybe I'll use those next. So, um, phone, there it is. That is on the 18th. Okay, so the 20th, then we have our trash pickup. Oh, I have tons of these on this one, so I'll use this. That's really funny. Tons of garbage stickers on the 20th. I just poked myself with the tweezers. They are super sharp. That did not feel good. Okay. Second, I have my printing, which I think, if I'm not mistaken, what did I use? Oh, just a generic sticker, generic dot sticker. That's what I used. That is on the 22nd, and then. There, there is a, tele or a telephone, a TV. Okay, so then I'll add the TV in there too. So this is for HP Inc. and View. Another card. We're actually hoping to have. Um, to start, once we get back from our vacation, we are basically going to be um, building our emergency fund back up. 
And then um, once we're done with that, we're going to start going through and doing the debt snowball and trying to pay down our debts. I, I very, very loosely follow, um, I guess follow, the Dave Ramsey Baby Steps system very loosely as in we're just beginning and I don't agree with everything that he says or believes in, but um, I really liked the baby steps, the idea of the baby steps, so we are going with that. Um, so the first step is to build up a thousand dollars in an emergency fund. We had 500 and then something happened to my brakes <laughs> and we ended up having to use um, 450 of it, which was a bummer, but I wasn't too bummed about it just because had it been before we decided to do the baby steps, I would not have known where that $450 was going to come from. Because we started the baby steps system and had that $500 sitting in an emergency fund meant for when your brakes accidentally go out, um, we were able to pay that bill right away without having to borrow money, without having to worry about where it was coming from. It was incredibly nice. I've never had that happen before in my life. Um, and so that is why I am so bound and determined that once we get back from our vacation, we are going to be refilling that emergency fund and then starting on paying down our debts. So just kind of a I don't know. It was it was so nice to just be able to pay it and not have to worry about it. Um, like I said, I just I've never done that before. So, um, you know, I'm missing some stickers. I just realized I have some payday stickers that I need. Ooh, I had to do some digging to find these. <laughs> okay, so his last payday. So his first one will be this one. So. Yeah, I had to dig around a little bit to find these, but I finally found them. So, payday. Payday. He gets three this month. Lucky him. And payday. And then I'm also going to mark in... Um, events that we have going on this month that I think are going to take some form of money whether it be in the form of gas that we haven't budgeted for or actually having to buy items or something. Um, mostly I think everything is going to be gas that we had not budgeted for. So uh, or not that we hadn't budgeted but it just wasn't in our typical gas budget so um, actually, oh shoot, I still need these stickers. <laughs> I'm going to use the Haley's Handmade stickers. I'm surprised I haven't gone through these yet. Um, okay, so on the third, I hung out with a friend from my Minnesota Planner Addicts group. Um, so I'm just going to put stuff. And then... On the 10th, um, I had, <laughs> I got, got a lot of planner stuff going on this weekend, or this month. Um, my other friend from my, um, one of my other, like I only have two, one of my other friends from my planner addicts group, um, her son's birthday was, on, or birthday party was on the 10th, so we went to that. Um, and then, uh, well, technically today, if you're watching this, the day it comes out, um, I have a family-ish event. It's not really family. Um, they're just like people I grew up with. I'm not really looking forward to it, but I'm going anyway. Um, and then I actually have two. 
two things going on on the 24th. So I have um, a meetup, a planner meetup that I'm actually hosting. And then I also have a friend's bonfire after that that I'm going to. And then on the 30, geez, there's so much stuff. Um, you know, I'm actually going to use this sticker here. Because on the 30th, that is our anniversary. And then on, oh yeah, okay, so that's it for that. That's basically it. Um, I don't know, I know a lot of people that use sticker kits and stuff in these, um, but I just kind of wanted to remind people, I guess, that this, I really actually enjoy this more than I enjoy the stickers. Like, granted, the sticker kit I used last month was super cute. That wasn't even a sticker kit, it was just a digital paper that I had bought and I made into my own sticker kit. It's really cute, but I really actually enjoy this Just Pen and then just these minimal stickers, like I really enjoy this. So I just wanted to kind of remind people that, you know, the minimal spreads are awesome too, especially if they're like functional. Like I feel like functional functionality should be most important. Okay, so next I'm gonna go with my we I did this in cursive weekly expenses. Not really trying to be super pretty with this. Weekly expense. This is awful. Okay. Let's start with this one. So, week one. So, that is August 1st through the 4th. I go um, Monday to Sunday. Expenses. So this is basically um, writing, or it's basically putting out my monthly in a different fashion. It's broken down a little bit differently. But I really like it broken down by week. So, insurance, mortgage. loan card settlement I think that's all yep and then unbudgeted and then total okay I suppose I can oops zoom me in a little bit here so this is due on the first first second third, fourth, and obviously unbudgeted. We have no due date and no budget. Okay. Uh, week two, that is August 5th through the 11th. I'm basically, I think I'm just gonna um, pop on some music and go through this um, just because no, you know what, forget it. I'm just going to do it. So the 5th through 11th, I only have two things. I just have my Conexus and water unbudgeted. Oh, that was silly. <laughs> Whatever, I'm going with it. <laughs> um, so week three, this is August 12th through the 18th. I have a 
Um, and Bryce. That's it. Wow. We're just going to roll with having no other headers on this, I guess. Um, I have a few more for week four, so I think I'm going to put that on the next, next page here. So that would be... Where did I start? That was line two. Week four, August. There we go. Okay. So now I can see everything. Because I need to see what bills are due that week too. So the 25th. Um, and then I'm going to actually do the expenses and whatnot here. I'll just maybe do it at the top of each page. Maybe that'll work better. Alright. So then... Ace, card, HP, ink, view, uh, card, and then unbudgeted, and total. So then finally, week five, which is August 26th. Through the well, 31st. Derp. So that's gonna have center point. Sorry, you can hear my husband later. And charter. And then of course unbudgeted um, and total. Alright. So I'm going to go through and add my lines. That's freaking sweet. I don't know when I left off. <laughs> I thought I was recording. Turns out I wasn't. So um, I laid this all out. <laughs> Not sure what was actually seen, but I laid it all out. So I'm just going to go ahead and get my totals, I guess. Okay, so because I thought I was recording when I actually really wasn't, here is the full weekly expenses layout. I really don't like how I didn't carry the tight, like the this top portion throughout the rest of them. I just figured I'd go with it um, since I made the mistake on this one. I'm pretty used to making mistakes on these, so it's not a big deal. But um, So that's everything. I've got the expenses in due date order broken down by week, Monday to Sunday. And then I've got the total budgeted, and then I'll have the total actual and the total difference just to kind of break it down. I don't reference this a ton, but it is kind of nice to keep me on track for, you know, figuring out when we've paid things and stuff like that, if we've paid things on time and 
if anything went over it just kind of helps me to analyze things I guess a little better so that's basically what I use that for so this page I'm gonna use to track my variable expenses oops wow expenses that was awful anyway um, so here I'm gonna have week and then category and actual I don't really need the remaining so I'm just gonna go with that for now so my categories are gas groceries and PR I'm just gonna repeat this five times I can't believe I didn't record that. Uh, I swear I hit the play or the record button. Four, five, there we go. I don't even know what I missed, so that's the best part. And I was talking through that entire thing too. <laughs> Oh, and then I need one more for... This is probably totally crooked. I don't think I could write a straight line to save my life, so... Anyway. Um, so this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, and total. Okay, I'm add my lines in here. So basically, I'm just going to track um, kind of what I actually spent. Yeah, look at that. It just goes over and over. <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah, I, I tend to take like, uh, I, I budget so much for PR, but if I don't use it all, I just kind of put it into my general fund money. Um, so I don't really have a remaining portion. Um, this works better, obviously, if you're doing like sinking funds kind of a thing or something along those lines where you're going to keep the money in the PR budget, but I don't do that. So, and we kind of do the same for gas and groceries. So that's kind of what I just want to see what I actually spent, not necessarily what's remaining. So the last thing I do is a debt balances sheet um, and I actually think I am yeah I'll do it why not that I was gonna not do it but I'll do it anyway so debt and then start and and I believe I just do difference yep difference. So I only track a few. Um, I really don't need to track his loan because it's still deferred but I'm gonna do it anyway. Well that was super. My camera battery died. <laughs> so not only did I not record a whole portion of stuff, my camera battery had died. So, um, I'm just gonna keep going. I didn't do anything except for, you know, change my battery. So, uh, good thing I have a backup. Uh, just a friendly reminder to get a backup camera battery, it is so worth it. Uh, and then total. So I'm going to do my lines here. So that's basically that. 
<laughs> Super exciting. I'm not going to put in the amounts or anything. I'm just going to leave that be. So, um, let's clean up a little bit here. zoom it out a little bit so there's the budget page where I'll you know fill in my income and then fill in the actuals and the total and then the monthly where I kind of keep track of when things are happening are unbudgeted um, we typically I write in here with my red Sailor fine liner um, at the bottom and then I added up Monday to, Monday to Sunday so like the first to the fourth the fifth to the eleventh um, and then I'll add that up here and kind of keep track of it here and then I have my weekly expenses broken down by the bills that come out each week and then any unbudgeted spending we have broken down by week and then variable expenses so I can keep track of these categories and what I've actually spent and then our debt balances where I keep track of what we started the month at, what we ended the month at, and the difference. Um, this is going to come in more handy when we're actually actively paying down our debt, whereas right now we're not actively, like we're paying the minimums, but that's about it right now until we get through Disney and then when we get our emergency fund built up and then this sheet is going to come in super handy after that. So that's basically it for this. No kit. Nothing fancy, no colors, nothing like that. Um, I am going to, though, show you how I use, um, what, well, what I actually use for my newest tracker. I'm just going to put everything back where it belongs. I'll find a different place for this because I don't really need it here anymore. But I think I said that earlier. Okay, so that's basically how I keep my Aaron Condra. I just kind of keep it off to the side. Um, and I'm not going to probably, I'm not going to be getting one of these next year. I'm either going to be using the system I'm about to show you or I'm going to use a Hobonichi week. So I haven't decided yet. But, so, so here's the second portion. This may be a little surprising to you um, to see my gorgeous Foxy Fix Sugar Mint pocket rings. Um, but, and it is, look at this, it is not decorated at all. I have not set this up yet. These are dashboards I had from a previous setup that I just kind of threw in here to divide up my sections. I am actually going to decorate this just like normal. Um, I have all my Disney decorations in my Giglio right now, so I'm going to do this, I think, in more of like a galaxy theme, but I haven't actually had the time to do it, so I've just kind of been dealing with this, and I, <laughs> it kind of hurts my heart. So, um, I think I have already set up August, my monthly, but this is basically what I'm doing. I'll zoom in a little bit here. So... It is basically the same as my Erin Condren. Obviously, it is way less fun, um, but you know I've got um, like my my mortgage, my insurance, my loan, my card. Well, I've got those all here in purple, um, and then like Pat's payday, I have here in green. I have all of our paydays in green. I have his marked as you know, PM for him, and then mine are actually the amount of hours I get, because I get paid twice, you're not even seeing that, I get paid twice a month, so the hours that I get depend on how many days we're on that pay period, and then in blue I did the events, so these like staff, Kate's birthday, the fiesta, like, I have those all in blue here, so it is much less exciting, um, but it is far more functional far more functional. Although I will be honest, I think I enjoy looking at this one more, but, um, I'm really liking this. And then, um, I have this budget overview sheet. These are all, I believe all of these are Peanuts Planner Co. Um, this budget overview is this page. 
my variable expenses page where I keep track of the gas groceries in my PR budget, I'm doing the same thing here. So I am doing it by week instead of for the whole month. And basically I am actually using the remaining portion because I'm trying to actually keep that money within that same thing. Um, but basically, you know, I start the week with this much and this is how much I used and or added and then this is how much I have left. It is fairly simple um, and I'm really enjoying that much more than this. Maybe if I added the remaining in here, I'm not sure, but um, this one I'm not going to show like my actual numbers and stuff, but basically, and I'll show you like for July here, the red is all unbudgeted. That doesn't necessarily mean it was bad purchases, it just means that it was something that we did not have budgeted. So like I think this day was for something for my car. It was necessary, but it was unbudgeted. So it doesn't necessarily mean that this is like eating out, buying things we shouldn't buy. It's stuff that we just didn't budget for. So exactly what unbudgeted means, it's just I have, sometimes I have to remind myself that that doesn't mean that this is frivolous spending. But instead of doing that, I have been writing in this Peanuts Planner called Fold Out insert. It goes July, or July, January to December. Um, so just November and December back here and it just kind of folds out but I'm writing in the amount we spent each day and then I'm actually adding it up and putting it in the front of my monthly insert. Um, these are, I'm not going to show you because I actually have numbers in here, but these are basically, there's 12 months, so there's the 12 sections here for each month, and so I'm writing in the total of the month of unbudgeted spending in the front here. It's really working out for me. I'm really enjoying it. And then, um, I'm actually, this is the portion I'm actually going to set up right now. Um, just to kind of show a little bit different setup, I guess. So this is going to be my budget page. Um, and I'm actually going to do, I think I'm actually going to do two of them. Wait, let's see. Let's see if I do August, September, October, November. Yeah, I want to do July. I want to do July in here too. Um, and I did, <laughs> It's popped out because I cut it a little too short, but I do have this um, with slits in it so I can just take it out easily to write in it. The rest of this isn't though. Yeah, I'm going to start with July. So I'm going to go, oops. All right, here we go. And I'm just going to use one of my mild liners. Oops, I just closed it. Wow. Okay, and I'm going to, uh, I'll write July up top, just small, and then I'm going to use my mild liner here. I'm not going to be super precise or anything, I'm just going to kind of go with it. So I think I was divvying this out one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. And I'm not gonna use a ruler. I'm just, like I said, I'm just gonna although I think I am gonna take this out because this this divider back here is kind of getting on my nerves, so. Alright. I'm using um, a Muji pen that um, my friend Steph gave me because I had never tried one. Okay. I'll fill this in later because obviously I don't want to share our income. And then expenses are going to go here. It's literally, you can tell, the exact same layout. Uh, yeah. So, expense, uh, budget, 
actual and difference. Okay. So since this was for July, I'm going to put in obviously the July um, stuff. Oh, this is hard. It's such a small space. was really hard Ooh. not gonna be straight lines <laughs> um, that was really hard to keep within the four boxes that I had set out as the spacing just because that's the even spacing of it so uh, let's see 105 again I'm not gonna use dollar signs or commas just because it takes up unnecessary space and time I just want to get this when I am setting this up, I just kind of want to get it done, so. Um, especially if I'm not using like stickers or anything fun, like I just kind of want it to be done and over with. <laughs> so. A lot of these I'm actually remembering. Um, which is awesome. I have one out of order here because it was out of order on my July budget in my um, Heron Condren, but that's okay. I, like I said, I pretty much make a mistake in every single month, so that's fine. Okay. Then I think that ended up being three, nine, six, one, twenty-four. Okay. So since I do actually have the actual numbers for this, I'm just gonna fill in um, what the actual numbers were for July. And if I do have um, like this one, obviously we spent under. But if I had an overage, I would write it in red. So just to clarify that. And then the rest of these are basically all exactly what we said we were going to pay. Oh my gosh, I don't know why that four is not cooperating. <laughs> I need to like, if I write my fours in a different way, they don't, I, it just hurts my brain for some reason, but writing them like this tends to make them look like nines and that also drives me nuts. So I don't know. Fours, man, fours. <laughs> oh, that was the wrong one. 48, 30. So this was a dollar seventy. So the rest of these were all spot on. No saving money there. This was forty nine two. And then this was thirty. So that ended up being thirty eight. 45, 36 for a savings of 102.21. Add a little bit here just to make this look a little nicer. At least this has some color. Uh, July, okay. 2019. There we go. That's my uh, that's my July without my income. Um, so then I'm going to use a different color. 
I'm going to set up August on the back. This is like so much faster, seemingly. I think I actually have one more thing to add, so this is actually going to go all the way down to the bottom. Because, yeah, I would have one more thing. Okay. Ha! I can't add any more things. I am at peak space allotment. motivation to knock some debt out, right? Um, that was corny, but that's okay. It's kind of true. I mean, whatever does it for you, right? Whatever gets you to knock out the debt. Okay. And why did I start so far over? Estimated actual difference. I don't know why I didn't write his name over. Whatever. Expense. I'll just do budge. <laughs> actual. Alright. So here I have garbage. Card, utility, it's hard to fit. There we go. This is starting to hurt, hurt my hand. This pen, this Muji pen, like I really like these pens, but they it's so small to hold that it just hurts my hand, honestly. I like a chunkier pen, so it's just, it writes nicely, so I'm using it, but I could have probably used my Coletto instead. Ah, I actually have stuff in order this time. It's weird, I don't know what to do with myself. I'll mess something else up, don't worry. <laughs> my hand is starting to shake. My hand was shaking really badly. And I'm gonna get to my totals here from my burn contra. And I can actually fill in some of these actuals, but I'll probably do that off camera just because it's I'm gonna have to look look them up and things like that so I'm just gonna do that off camera oops that was supposed to be 110 wish more of these would go down a little bit. They will eventually. I just have to keep telling myself that eventually some of these will go down or be gone entirely, which will be super nice. I cannot wait. I We are still making like awful purchase decisions, but looking at our numbers so far for the year based on our numbers last year, we're actually doing a lot better this year than we were last year and I attribute that to obviously being aware of the numbers. Um, obviously if you're not aware of how badly you're doing it's hard to be aware. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, oh gosh. Okay. So there's, um, there's July. 
and August. And I like this so much more. It's just more um, functional for me. I can carry it a little easier. And I don't know, I just like this. I like this a lot. So like I have my whole finance section here. I have a few more things to add and I want to set this up for the rest of the year also. But then in the back here I also have like social media planning because I do have obviously my YouTube. Um, I have my Instagram and I have four PR teams right now so I need to keep track of some stuff for them. So that's basically it. Um, I don't know. I'm just really enjoying this specific system. So um, like I said, I'm still going to be setting up my Erin Condren on camera just because I want to be held accountable to finishing this book. It's August. I've gotten every month in here so far, so I really just want to finish this out and be done with it. Um, and then I'll just keep doing my actual functional stuff in here and go back and fill this in kind of as a financial back planner, I guess. But, and then I got to decorate this too, but that's basically all I have. So if you made it through this whole video, thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate that you're here. Um, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you want to know when I post it, the little bell for notifications. Again, thank you so much for being here. I will see you next video. Bye.